Welcome to the Warbird Mistress. This is London Calling. Good evening, today is Monday, 22nd July, 1940, and this is this evening's news. The North Sea was abuzz last night with Goering's amassed mining minions, taking off from their bases in the Low Countries and Denmark to plant Poseidon's potentially powerful petards profusely proximal to our ports and courses of commerce. Their mine-laying activities are paying off, and HMT Campina, a trawler taken on by the Admiralty's of patrol craft, hit one and was sunk off Hollyhead in the Irish Sea, taking with her all eleven of her crew. Despite some showers over Kent and Essex, it was a fair day over the Straits of Dover and light to moderate cloud cover over the channel, with westerly winds favorable to Jerry. That did not encourage them to action, as our boys had a restful day for the most part. The exception was a breakfast encounter with a reconnaissance door near 17P, lettered 7ADM, of 4th Stoffel Fernaf Klingsgruppe 121, about 20 miles south of Selsey. Three Hurricanes of 145 Squadron's Blue Section made quick work of the little spy. Lieutenant Borman was rescued by an MTB while his two crewmates perished in the channel. Anif was the subject of one Heingel's specific intentions. Just after 0900 hours, a single 111 dove out of the sky and dropped in centuries around Macduff, followed by four high-explosive bombs on Duff House. The two that actually hit the manor itself were luckily both duds. Not possibly known to the pilot was that this build-up hub of administration was also home to prisoner of war camp number five. In addition to 18 injured British troops and one dead British guard, 18 Germans were injured and another six Germans were killed. In addition to the one bomber shot down, the Germans lost another three aircraft today. Six of their airmen were also counted among the dead. Two RAF aircraft were lost, both in accidents, and a single airman, RNZAF Pilot Officer John Lawrence Bickerdyke of No. 85 Squadron was lost when his hurricane crashed on approach to the field at Castle Camps during aerobatic exercises. He had joined 85 Squadron on 25th May and had downed a Heinkel 111 on 12 June in defense of convoy booty. That is all for today. Thank you, and good night. Thank you for tuning in to the Warbird Mistress. This is London Calling, a day-by-day detail of the Battle of Britain. And I hope that you subscribe, watch the playlist for new additions, and do check out other offerings on this channel. Subscriptions through Patreon and YouTube are more than welcome to keep this channel going. Thank you and take care.